Hey everyone, today I'm going to share with you a specific use of Bitmoji scenes um, and this is going to be using agenda slides in Google Classroom. So it's similar to what you see here. Um, I'm going to have a significant size whiteboard in the background and I'm going to use that um, to link different things, uh, assignments, videos, whatnot, um, to make my students agenda. So I'm going to start with a blank slide. And the first thing I'm going to do is change the layout to blank, or you can delete the text boxes. And then I'm going to pick a background. I'm going to choose an image, Google image search, wall, floor. This is my favorite combo. And then I want to, I want to pick a combination um, or a specific ratio of wall to floor. I want a lot of wall and only a little bit of floor to give that um, depth. So like this one right off the bat is really good. The one next to it, this takes up almost half the slide. Um, and that's not really what you're going to want here. If you don't have a lot to link in your agenda, you could probably get away with this. Um, but I prefer to have it nice and big. I want my font really nice and big. Um, so I'm going to pick this one right here or like this one would be good too. But the shadows are probably going to annoy me. Um, so you just got to come through it. If you don't find something that you like, you can also just search, do like a Google search separately, like outside of Google Slides. Um, you are using this behind a password protected Google Classroom, and it's for educational purposes. So you can really use any image that you can find on the Internet. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a whiteboard. So I'm going to insert an image, and again, you can search um, separately in another tab if you don't find something that you like, but for this one, I'm gonna search whiteboard, transparent, PNG, and if you find a whiteboard that you like that's not transparent, you can just use that website remove.bg that I mentioned in my Bitmoji scene tutorial to remove the background. So I'm just going to grab this one, make it nice and big. Maybe not that big. <laughs> Let's just move it up there. Okay. So now that I have that, this is where I would create my scene. So I'm not going to go through the steps of all that because that's in my Bitmoji scene tutorial, but you might add a chair over here, a bookshelf over here, you know, decorate it however you want. I'll show you some of my examples in a second. So then what you're going to want to do is you're going to have a text box up here. And I'm just going to have um, make it even bigger. I'm going to have a title on here. Usually I like to put the class name. So I would put Calc Honors and then I would put the date. So Monday, April 27th. So this is their agenda for Monday. So then I would create another text box. And I like to use um, these little check boxes for my um, bullets because it looks like a checklist. So I might start off with their daily check-in if they had that. Okay, and then I like the font to be pretty large, like I said. All right, so then I would highlight, right click, and then select link. And then what you wanna do is go to your Google Drive and then link, get the link for your check-in. All right, so make sure you get the send link. Don't copy the URL uh, because that is, they'll be able to edit your actual file and you do not want to do that. You want to send it to them to take it. So you want the link from here. And then you're going to paste that into here. Okay, so now when they click on that link, it's going to go to that form and they will quickly fill out that form. Now, the next thing they'll do, they'll go back to this, and let's say you have a video lesson for them to watch. So watch, lesson, video, 
And let's see, the one I just recorded was this. So we'll do Lipitor's rule. All right, so then you're going to want to highlight that. You can highlight this whole thing, or you can just highlight the title of the video. And then again, right click, click link, grab that link from your drive. So I right click on it, get shareable link. And um, for my videos, I do anyone with a link can view because sometimes I share these with other people as well that are outside of our domain. Um, but most of the time, you're going to have it anyone within your domain with the link can view. Um, just make sure it's on can view because otherwise they won't be able to pull up the video. All right, so now when they click that link, it will go to your video. Um, and then let's say they have a homework assignment that you want to complete. Yeah, whatever that may be. And then again, same thing, right click, highlight it, um, highlight, right click, and then get the link to that. Um, you can also send them to different websites. Um, I teach high school math, so I'm pretty much, you know, video homework, but every now and then I do different activities like digital activities. Um, there's certain things that though that you may want to make a copy of to give to them and you're not going to want to put, you could put a force copy link in here. Um, so complete digital math activity okay so let's say it was like a google slides presentation um, that you're linking to and you want to make a copy for each student because they're like dragging and dropping well if i link it here and i do a forced copy it's not making that copy in google classroom so it's just giving them a copy of it and then it's just in their drive and they would have to find it and turn it in um, and attach it to you separately. So I do not recommend linking stuff that you want them um, to have a copy of. Okay, so um, I'll show you how to do that on another slide or in Google Classroom. But if you if there's something that you still want them to complete, just put it on your agenda and then just say see Google Classroom. Um, an, a good option, another option you could do if you have already posted the activity. All right, so let's say this is the activity and it's a make a copy type of activity. If it's already posted, you cannot do this for scheduled posts, unfortunately, but if it's already posted, you can copy the link to that assignment. Then you can just link that here and it will take them straight to that assignment and they'll be able to have, they'll have their copy already there or they can, you know, it says like your work or whatever. Um, so you can get around it by doing that instead if it is a make a copy type of assignment. Okay. Um, most of mine are not that. I use a lot of forms which are not make a copy type of assignments. Mine are just, you know, click here, submit your work type of stuff. Um, so that's how you add links to your slides. Again, if it's like a website that you want them to go to, a YouTube video you want them to go to, just put it in your in your list, highlight, right click, link, paste the link either to you know the website, the YouTube video, um, Edpuzzle, whatever it is. So now what you're going to want to do is obviously you can decorate this a little bit more. I'll show you um, some of mine. So I keep all of my daily slides in one file and then I really just duplicate the slide. So here, this is Monday's slide. I'm not done with it yet but <laughs> priorities, right? Um, I'll right click on that and then duplicate slide. 
And then at the top, I'll just change that to Tuesday and, you know, start, start fresh. But all my decorative stuff is still here. Um, I tend to have a lot of fun with these. <laughs> um, you know, sometimes I'm drinking coffee. Sometimes I've got my uh, Chick-fil-A drink. <laughs> um, sometimes I get a little crazy with the Disney themed stuff. My two-year-old loves Frozen 2. So um, any chance I can incorporate that, I do. Um, and just there's lots of different fun bitmojis that you can incorporate. Sometimes I'm just lazy and I'm binging a math TV show, <laughs> doing goat yoga, making corny math jokes. <laughs> but my kids love it. They have so much fun with it. So anyways, um, so once I have a slide ready to go, so let's say Monday, right? I'm going to post this assignment for them to do. Um, so I'm going to go to file, make a copy just of this selected slide. So then I'm going to name it Algebra 2 Honors Agenda Monday, April 27th. Okay. And then I'm not going to do anything with it. I don't need to download it as anything. You could download it as a PDF and the links will still work, but it's unnecessary. They're only going to be able to view this. So I just save it so that it's the slide um, alone by itself. All right, then I'll go into my um, Google Classroom. I'll go to Classwork and I'm going to create material because I, this is not something I want them to have a copy of. Um, like I don't need to make a copy. It's not something that I am having them turn in. It's just a resource. It's a reference material. So then I'll just name it agenda for April, Monday, April 27th. And then I will add it here straight from my Google drive and it should be my most recent attach it. There we go. So when they pull this up, they'll just be able to view it and click on the links and go to anything. Um, that I have in that agenda that I want them to do. So then I'm going to create a topic. I organize my classwork by day. Some do it by week. You could still do that. So my topic is Monday, April 27th. And then you can schedule it or you can just go ahead and post it. I like to schedule mine for the morning of. And then anything that I had in the agenda that I want them to physically turn in. So for instance, the homework assignment, I actually want them to turn the homework assignment in to me. They send me a picture of their work. So if it's an assignment that you want to, um, them to send, turn in, or if it's an assignment you need to make a copy of for each student, this is where you would do that. So you would add your homework assignment, you know, whatever it is, page, and then I also like to link and then I also like to link that same PDF that I linked in the agenda I'll link it for them here also so let's say it's that one I'll just link it there just so it's in two places um, so they can verify that they did the right one or or whatever it is it's just it's just there um, I like to be excessive, okay? <laughs> so then I'll schedule that, I'll put a due date on it, and then schedule that as well. Okay, so, oh, now, here's a good tip. I forgot to put my topic on there, it happens all the time. You just drag it to where you want it. Okay, so there we go. So now I have my agenda and my homework, and they'll post Monday morning. And they'll just click on the agenda and they'll go through the steps. And then here I've got my assignment for them. Um, if it's a, again, if it's if it's an assignment that you want them to each have a copy of, you do need to put that in here separately. So basically anything that you want them to turn in from your agenda, create an assignment for that. That way they can go into this and turn that in. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, um, feel free to reach out. Thanks.